Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of mm, Grand Theft Auto V. Some moments you don't want to end. Uh huh. And uh, Trevor, of course, has been binging like always. Looking very fancy indeed. Oh. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. So. This is actually the scene of our last big job. Now, I know I always say, last episode was crazy. This time, I'm being deadly serious. Last time, we did something insane. We went on a heist to basically rob a small bank. And when I say a small bank, I mean a small bank out here in the middle of nowhere. But uh, as you can see, there was quite a bit of destruction and a lot of casualties. Not from our side, of course. We may or may not have, oh, I don't know, hit a military transport and had juggernaut armor and miniguns. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. But uh, basically, last time we hit this little bank over here and uh, made off like bandits with $8 million. Now, I wonder why a tiny bank out here in the middle of nowhere has $8 million of cash on hand. But regardless, we made off like bandits, $8 million, and uh, there were a lot of casualties. I probably killed at least a thousand police officers. The military showed up, and it was, uh, it was thoroughly crazy. And then right afterwards, we did not even stop for a breather. No coffee, no dinner, not a nap. Immediately, Trevor and Michael went straight out, derailed an entire train, and uh, found a little briefcase with a gold statue inside. So these guys are really, truly living on the edge. For now though, let's drop in on my boy Franklin and see what's up. It's been kind of crazy around here, I'm not gonna lie. I just can't get over the, the last episode. It was just nuts. <laughs> so hey, much Steve destruction. Hayes, man. Okay, um, so we actually for once have a couple of jobs with Franklin. And uh, oh, great, an FIB mission. I really wanna hurt dickhead Steve. I keep saying it, but he just gets under my skin. Wait, what? Okay, we got a message from someone. Adrian, find out for yourself, find out about yourself. Franklin, is it a time you took control of your inner self? Uh, excuse me, the hell are you talking about? Are you willing to spare five minutes for a lifetime of fulfillment? Oh, visit mydivinewithin.com and receive free actual analysis. Okay, analysis of what? Hmm. Sounds like a weird occult, and I do not want to be a part of an occult. So let's ride down here and check out this FIB mission. And uh, we actually have a lot of money, $683,000. So at some point, I want to hook all the characters up with new clothing, maybe a new car, because Franklin has this shitty green tractor bike. This thing is hideous, and he has his car. Uh, Trevor is driving a pile of shit, like actually a pile of shit. Uh, on four wheels, and then Michael has a grandma car. We are super villains. We are mastermind criminals. We can't be seen driving garbage like that. The mission has been disrupted. Return later to start the mission. Disrupted how? <laughs> what do you mean? It's gone. Okay, well, I guess dickhead Steve heard me talking mad shit and decided, yeah, I'm not gonna do that job right now. Let's just leave. All right, well, uh, we have Lester, that's another assassination job, kind of boring. Uh, Devin. All right, well, let me call a tab and uh, we'll go see what Devin wants. I wonder who's calling. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are, I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive, you should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. <laughs> so Amanda low-key cares about Michael, but doesn't. She clearly does not love him. She just doesn't want daddy's money to disappear overnight. Yeah, we see straight through you, you little skank. Hey, whoa, 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 where are you going, homie? Oh! Hey, whoa, 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 listen, man. Come here, come here. Coward taxi cab driver. What a pushover, what, <laughs> what was that all about? Um, but yeah, she clearly does not want daddy's money to disappear. Let me call another cab, God damn it. Mm. You know what it is? She's probably in love with Fabian. Hey, can I get a cab? Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Appreciate it. 
Thank you. This time, can the driver not be a coward and then run off like a little bitch? I think she's in love with Fabian, the yoga instructor that likes to spread ass cheeks, and uh, Fabian wants a little taste of daddy's money too, so they've got to keep Michael alive because obviously she's an ex-stripper and he's a yoga instructor that probably has about a thousand restraining orders to his name, so they need money somehow. Well, I can see straight through your bullshit, and uh, little does she know that Franklin and Michael are quite close, so listen, Franklin, you got to call up the, uh, the homie Michael and tell him exactly what your wife said. She wants him alive, but just doesn't want him to know that she cares. A about his money, of course. Mm. I see straight through you. Okay, here we are. Hi, Devin, 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 my man, what type of job do you have for me today? Hopefully one that pays money up front. Hey, Molly, I'm outside the studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it, so you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Or I could have my friend Trevor call you. If you don't know, Trevor is mad in love with Molly, as well as I'm sure every other female in Los Santos. Oh, of course, Devin is that douchebag we met from a few episodes ago that he just appreciates and loves his friends so much that to prove to them they have a comfortable, cushy life, he repossesses their expensive cars and then sells them to other people, just so they know what they have. You don't know what you have until you lose it. <laughs> what a great guy. Okay. So I'm gonna be repossessing a car from a studio lot. Well, this should be fun. Find the actor. Okay, I just need to follow a trail of egotistical bullshit. I need to find the guy that seems like he's the most arrogant with the biggest ego. Actually, I see him on the minimap. He's also red, which means he's hostile. Odd. Hello? Are there any actors down here? I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I'm Found him. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Nina. Well, <laughs> you, sir, are definitely an actor. You can knock out the actor and get his clothes. Oh, so it's like a hitman. You knock someone out, steal their clothing, and then you assume their identity. What is this guy doing? Either he's gargling a dick or doing a vocal warm up. Mm. Hello, sir. I would like an autograph. I'm a big fan of your movies. This guy's a kook. Security! What? What? You know how many fight classes I took for this role? Come on! What? I need the studio detective! <laughs> Do you just randomly punch the first black Security. guy you see? Jesus Christ! Oh, and you got ran over. Studio and they're Security. shooting! Hey, I'm just here to get an autograph! I just want him to sign my boobies! Really? What a prick! All I wanted was an autograph, and he's like, Oh no, I'm gonna beat you up! Okay, I see how it is. You wanna fight? I'm from the hood. I've got muscles on top of muscles. I'm about to kick your ass all over this parking lot. And then soon all he'll be able to say is ja 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 You're gonna have a speech impediment when I'm done breaking your glass jaw. Find the actor. Listen to him. What a prick. Oh, you're gonna get yours. You are so going to get yours. He thinks because he can push people around in Hollywood because they need a job, that that works for everyone. Unfortunately, some of us mm, work for ourselves. Oh my God, are you? Okay, well, he doesn't have a glass jaw, but he's about to be dead. Hey, oh. I work here. We're, we're practicing choreography. It's a, it's a fight. We're practicing. They take this very seriously. They find one random guy on the movie lot and they shoot him dead. Are you kidding me? Oh, here we go. Kaboom! Yeah, there we go. You've been practicing, huh? Had fight classes. Well, that, that, that was quick. <laughs> See, when I want to knock you out, I can knock you out. But of course, the first time this guy gets in trouble, everyone shoots at me. Damn! Franklin, my man, looking good! Oh, you can really rock a tuxedo. Holy shit. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a whole new movie. Forget being a criminal. You're gonna be the first black James Bond. Looking stylish as fuck in that tuxedo. Ho ho! There's not a piece of ass in all of Vinewood that can avoid this beautiful hunk of man. Mm-mm. Okay, well, 
Never knew Franklin would look so good in a tux. A lot better than that skinny ass dude. <laughs> okay, so we need to repo a car. Okay, I think the car's up here. Hi. I I'm supposed Where to be the here. Hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Was Brandon the guy I just clocked back there? Where I think I think he was. Star? Where is my movie star? Right here, Anyone sir. Know who this guy is? Is, it, is this the new stun guy? No, th th yeah, definitely. A mask or makeup or something. I'm right here. Security! Oh, Security! Security. What? Why is everyone trying to shoot me all the time? The oh! What is wrong with you people? One random guy appears out of nowhere and you shoot him? Are you kidding me? Hollywood is screwed up. Jesus Christ. They need you on set. Okay, but what set? I was just down there. Maybe Where I can go the through the back way? Jesus, Ooh, yes, this might work. Find him? Someone's gotta find him. Okay. Maybe go up on the roof? I'm confused. If, if I'm not star? supposed to get in the car Where and drive off, then what do I do? Movie star? I thought oh. I had final approval on all stump of Oh, I thought I was gonna fall to my death. <laughs> what is the point of building all these sets? We got okay. head on the guy's This body might work. Post. Let's drop down here. Someone get Brandon on set. Somebody oh. do Hi, something. what's up? I belong here. Are, sir. Let's finish this. Let's finish this? Really? I didn't even start anything. I'm just trying to find out how to get in the car and steal it. What's my name, bitch? <laughs> These security guards are so funny. You know, I should just shoot all of you. It would be so much easier. Give me a moment. Apparently, I am stupid and don't know what I'm doing, which is always the case. Okay, you know what? Instead of me trying to do this the legitimate way by pretending to be the actor, shut up! I'm just gonna run in there and steal it. That's what Franklin would do, right? Hi guys, what from the, the studio. This car needs to be taken to a car wash and given a once over. Sorry about that. I'm gonna steal this woman too. Hope you guys don't mind. Oh, sorry about that. And you, trigger happy bitch. There we go. Now that's how things are done. <laughs> Deliver the car to the garage. Oh my god, this is an abduction. Yes, it is, isn't it? Get off the Pull wheel. over, creep Get the fuck out of here. Oh, lady, They're what coming. are you doing? Studio security are all over you. Oh, fuck. We're going to lose these guys. Lady, stop grabbing the goddamn wheel. Are you trying to get us killed? She is psycho. Stop. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? <laughs> nah, you cool? <laughs> Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What's this? Spikes? No, what I can drop the spikes? Whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. Yeah. Oh! I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimate the value of this automobile. Or Great. overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple of Lady, you just killed a guy! Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball! Look, you want a bet? I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Oh my gosh, get me out of here! Listen, Franklin, will you please slap man. this bitch? She is oh, going please. to get us killed. I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself. What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead, <laughs> but that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much they put me in a little lazy surprise campaign when I was three. Well, good for you. I didn't work till I was ten. You are so going to get the electric chair. This is more lethal injection, gas chamber kind of state. But thank you. If you don't get your hand off the wheel, worse than pedophiles in prison, and rightly so. Hey! Okay, that so does it. I'm pissed. Whatever you say. You're gonna kill me, aren't? <laughs> oh, oh, later, that. bitches. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity! This, this bitch is crazy! It's a car jacket. Now calm the fuck down. I will Man, kick you out of this car. Do? Press this, this button to see what happening. it does. Wait, what? What is this button? Everyone wants a piece of me. Directors, agents, fans. But you, you've taken the whole thing. This ain't about your ass. It's about this ride. Bullshit, this is about the car. Okay, yes, I'm what? pressing the button. <laughs> the passenger eject button. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. 
because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing, too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Right, right, right. Will do. Uh, listen, lady, I am so sorry for what happened, but my God, you were so annoying. Oh, sorry about that as well. Just need to back up. Actually, no, I'm going this way. <laughs> oh, you know, if she had kept her mouth shut, I wouldn't have pressed the button. But that was awesome, the way it just ejected her from the car. <laughs> Okay, so, one car acquired. See, I was wondering why the car was pulling all over the place. It's because she was an idiot and was grabbing the wheel. I swear, everyone in Los Santos is insane. We should have kept her alive and then given her to Trevor. She was talking about Stockholm Syndrome not working. Oh, it would have worked. Five minutes with Trevor and your brain would be fried and you would absolutely know nothing. You might even fall in love with him. Not possible. All right, all right, we have one new car. And I better get paid for this job. Again, I'm not working for free. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! <laughs> practically. Oh shit! Lamar. Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just <laughs> leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just Bad idea. Guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, <laughs> Look Slick? At him. <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Ah, oh, it's nice to see Lamar again. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're the brains and he's the spirit. Yeah, that's exactly... Mm, yes, save, please. That's exactly how that works out. He had all the spirit to do the dumb jobs and I'm the one with the brains saying, eh, let's maybe not do that because we're probably going to die. Mission passed, deep inside. I like how this guy said, it's practically legal. A except for that small little problem where I had to kill an actress to get the car. <laughs> but she was a bitch, so not even worried about that. She had it uh, coming, pretty much. Okay, so one job with Devin done. And I'm guessing Lamar is going to get the other cars, but he's not so bright. Funny, but not so bright. So I wonder how that's going to work out. Most likely he's going to try and get a car. It probably crash it, blow it up, something, or keep it for himself, and then Devin will want me dead for it. All right, so uh, we did that job, and, uh, oh, okay, we can go down here and talk to the FIB agent and possibly do another job. Although I really don't like working for the FIB agents because, well, <clears throat> let's just say it involves a lot of killing and little to no pay. Although I'm pretty sure that giant heist we did last episode was for the FIB agents, and we did get paid. Either way, let me grab a taxi and uh, we'll drop by and see what's up. Okay, here we are. By the way, look at how broad Franklin's shoulders are. My man never misses a gym day, ever. Check it out. <laughs> Looking good. All right, dickhead Steve, what pathetic job do you have hey, for me now? Up? That probably won't pay. Oh, it's Michael. Oh, hey, man. And we're both wearing suits. <laughs> Fashionable. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, really? No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, Franklin well, has. It's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead His about shoulders. Hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? And Trevor. Hello, Trevor. And we're all wearing we're suits. <laughs> business, Michael. Business. Uh, all right. 
I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. <laughs> if you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Fucker. Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Oh, dickhead hey. Steve. <laughs> Where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. Oh, All really? Right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. Excuse and me? I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. <laughs> hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Ooh. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. He's scared. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Trevor! Michael, you're with us! Sick him, boy! What size Get him. flipper you wear? You're gonna let that slide? You're insane! You've killed people for looking at you the wrong way, and you're gonna let that slide? He shit all over you! No, 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 no! Really, Trevor? Fuck the guy up! When you need Trevor Agent to be Norton, insane, he never is. You're in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. With pleasure. The softies are coming Go with us on a job. The, coast. the facility's a few clicks south of us. You know, if these guys were dead, we wouldn't have to do jobs like this. That's why I need Trevor to kill them. Navigate down the coastline. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? No, old no. bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. Mmm. Be a real shame if this boat capsized and you guys sank to your, oh, I don't know, death because maybe I put cement in your boots? <laughs> so wait a minute, hold up. We're doing a legitimate job, right? Because before when we've done jobs for the FIB, it's because they're corrupt and it usually involves killing people to make money. But this time we're taking out a factory that's making nerve this gas. Is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Dis discharge tunnel? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh boy, and we get to go scuba diving. So much fun. Press to dive into the sea. Well, you, you guys know I have a friend named Trevor that stole a submarine? Yeah, we could have used that instead. <laughs> I've always wanted to go scuba diving, but I am terrified of not being able to breathe. Like imagine you're at the bottom of the sea and that little tube that feeds oxygen to your face is severed. You would be out of air. I would literally shit my pants if I was sitting there breathing air and then ooh, I can't breathe. No, 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 thank you. As much as I would like to scuba dive, it's just Don't way get too scary. Over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. Boy, oh boy, if only we had a submarine. Make life a lot easier. Oh, this is I'm the- I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. This is the discharge That's tunnel, right? At over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. Holy shit, this thing does work! It's cutting through steel bars like it's nothing! 
Forget the next job, I wanna keep this for in case I go to prison, huh? Be a shame if I use this to cut their oxygen tanks. Mm. Might happen by accident. Just nick one of them and they start- so, you got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ah, I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. Nipple clamps? I'm sure Trevor would be into that. <laughs> you know, as long as we're underwater with no one down here to see us, a lot of bad things could happen to these FIB agents, Depressed Boy and Dickhead Steve. Mm. They might die in, oh, I don't know, various painful ways that involve not being able to breathe. This thing is awesome. I definitely need one of these in real life. For legitimate legal reasons, of course. Okay, the last two to go. This little tool is amazing. That should do it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to swim in there. <laughs> that is the stuff of nightmares. Underwater, no escape. Swimming in a confined space. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we go down the vent, find the access point. Gain entry to the lab. Ooh, it'd be a shame if your oxygen tanks were nicked and you had nowhere to swim to. You sure this thing <laughs> comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're a hundred yards out. You ah, don't I say. Feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. Hey, you feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? <laughs> this is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. Hey, I don't blame you, Michael. I would piss my pants too if I was swimming in here. <laughs> if only we had a little submarine. The problem oh, wait. with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Hey! Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Makes you doubly dumb. You know what's gonna make you doubly dumb? Choking to death and nowhere to go. Like, uh, you know, what if I ripped your mask off? You can't swim up and get air because you're down here and you're stuck. So many juicy ways for you to die. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually doing a legitimate job to help people. This isn't like the uh, the FIB agents. Final Helping turbine. people? Nearly there. Something seems odd. We're trying to steal nerve gas that's from someone that's pocket. going to use it Take for it terrorism? Surface, people. Hmm. Suspicious. Come on, get up the ladder. I'm trying. Oh, there's the ladder, okay. So I'm guessing we're in the lab now. Wow, you're all security sucks. No cameras or anything? That was too easy. <laughs> Dave's on. looking thick. Huh? We ready? I was born ready. Let's oh. do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great, lead the way. You boys Bank sure you're Robert, ready? Your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Sure. Dave, you're on point. I'm leading from the rear. And Michael, you're on stun gun duty. Stun gun duty? What, I don't get an actual gun? You don't trust me? I mean, I would be tempted to shoot you guys, but all right, let's go. Follow Dave and Steve. Hands I have a stun now. gun. Against the wall, quick. What the Listen, heck? I'm sorry, it's Geek Man, but uh, sleep, Michael. you're gonna have to be stunned. Oh, you, really? You got in my way. All right, you know what? Right in the butt. Come on, let's Ooh. go. <laughs> that has gotta hurt. Hands where I can see him. Drop your piece. You're making a big mistake, buddy. Oh, am Make I? Just like for that? Tit, Mike. <laughs> okay. Now hit the elevator. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. So wait, we're not killing people? That's boring. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need to know basis, bank robber. Shut it. How about you shut Elevator's it? coming down. Someone's on board. Well, let's surprise them. They're about to have oh, a very oh, oh. shocking revelation. <laughs> oh, damn, he's got the moves. Good job. All right, we go. You know what, instead of stun gun, it's called the here? dance gun. I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Look at how fat he is. We're fine. <laughs> Move on. You Bunch see of softies. Kicks? I don't want trouble from these two. Incapacitate the lab workers. All right, all right. Hello, boys. Oh. Ooh, very shocking. I like your dance moves. We gotta keep moving. Corridor 
goes around to the left. Why am I the one having to lead the pack? Oh, never mind. I guess someone's out front. Is that Dave? I think that's Dave. Damn! Behind the wall. Security For a fat guy, you're kind of brave. Ooh, shit. Take cover from the security guards. Do I... Coming. Make a call. Oh, it's my call? Just Surprise, boys! Oh. What? You didn't have to shoot him. I it, it might have taken a second to reload my stun gun, but still, we could have put him out that way. All right, I guess we're killing people now. Use the card on that swiper. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do this. Open mm. the door. I'm not coming out. Door oh, you're not? Be triggered internally. Maybe oh, I could okay. toss some we C4 on there. I'm on it. Well, I can blow the doors off if you guys want. No? Okay. What are we doing? Oh, someone's coming. Kneecap. <laughs> we dropped your buddy. Now open the door before we blow it and drop you. Mm. Yeah, what? That missed? Get the nerve agent. I'm gonna have to go for a headshot on this one. Oh! <laughs> Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but still, you're out. <laughs> Can I get him to do a little dancing? Nah, he's dead. Boo! And that's the nerve this gas. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Federal government? I am so confused. Was this a federally funded project? They were making nerve gas to use on citizens to basically make it look like terrorism's a real thing? Or is this a group of terrorists making nerve gas and we're here to save the world? I have no clue. Either way though, this the guy is out. Is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Mm, Morning, whatever you facility say. Facility has been breached. Facility has been breached. Uh oh, that's not good. You got the right weapon? This shit's about to get real. Okay, well now we're using real guns. About goddamn time. Oh, yeah, that is much better. <laughs> I guess shooting on, um, scientists isn't the best of things to do, right? It's not very humane. Lights out, baby. Here's Chuck. Mm. That's the wrong line of work. You really did. Oh, these guys aren't even dead yet. When will you guys learn not to run out in the open like that? Take cover. It's like shooting a bunch of puppies. They're completely clueless. Well, puppies that have guns. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, let me run out in the open and save the day. And you want me to be out front? I'm the one with the nerve gas. That's a bad idea. I've got this, hold up. If I get shot, worst thing that happens is we all die. How's that sound? <laughs> Are those monkeys in there? You need what? You need backup? Nah, you need a new elbow, homie. We gotta go. We gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh, this is the. Uh... Oh, these are the, uh, the, the the guinea pigs, essentially. Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, fam. Chill. You know, we're from PETA. We're here to punish you guys. Do an experimental. Research on these innocent monkeys. Hey, what's up, little guys? Are they injecting poison into your nutsack? I am so sorry. Poor, poor animals. Well, best put them out of their misery. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. I've seen Planet of the Apes. I know what happens. You guys are harboring anger. I know half you guys are probably going to be upset I shot a couple of monkeys in pins, but I'm putting them out of their misery. They've been living horrible lives here. <laughs> All right, let's go. A distress signal will have been sent out. Expect reinforcements. Guess what I need? I got a nerve fucking agent in my pocket and a battalion of soldiers on my ass. This is for the greater good, allegedly. Wait, that's the military. Come on, come on. I am so confused. Are we? Are we raiding in a government building? Hey, you work for the wrong branch of the government. What? We are. Look at this. So we're. <laughs> Did he make this entire story up? Cover me. Take him down. Don't compromise the 
weapons. They were making nerve gas for terrorists. They were making nerve gas just to make nerve gas, and we're here stealing it from the United States government. Okay, Dick Face Steve, thanks Come for on. lying to us. Although they did deserve to die because of the poor monkeys. You're a clown. That's not nice. Using them for experiments like that. They did not get a chance to consent. Put the agent on ice. Refrigeration units in that container. Put the nerve toxin into the refrigeration unit. Okay, well, let's do this. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just mm. a couple of clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig. And we need <laughs> a flying pig rig right now. It's actually a really nice chopper. With the fact we had to hit a bank and kill endless amounts of police officers and military personnel to afford this? Yeah, I don't think it's really worth it. And that story about nerve gas being used for terrorism. I have a feeling Dickface Steve made the whole thing up. Okay. Yep. Listen, um, I'm not a very good pilot. As in, I'm a terrible pilot. We missed the window. Agency response team's already in the building. It's never Say what? too late. We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, uh, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you coward. FIB special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet for my country. Hey, self inflicted bullet. <laughs> They're gonna know that's a, a self inflicted wound. Come on now. Fly to the airfield. All right, well, I am flying. What back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties. Only self inflicted ones. Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent. Ah, well. Maybe they'll debrief him with a 12 inch aluminum flashlight. Hanks <laughs> took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, with made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Matters of the heart? Oh, we know what that's about. <laughs> His new little wifey he kidnapped from a drug dealer named Martine. You guys gonna get married? <laughs> Hey, listen, I've got this, okay? I may be a meth head, but I know how to pilot a helicopter. Kind of, sort of, almost. Probably not. I, you, you guys should be really scared, honestly. Because we have a box with nerve gas in here, and I'm trying to land this. I have a feeling things are not going to be pretty. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful, careful. Let's just turn this bad boy around and very gently land it. Yeah, he, he definitely made up the whole story about terrorism and... Uh, oh. Sorry! He made up the whole story. Completely. There's no terrorism. Now, how do I let go of this? Oh, God. How do I let go of this? Where do I put it? Uh, a little help here, guys. Please. I'm right over the circle. Uh, Maybe I drop it on the back of this truck? Oh, careful. Fuck around, key. Okay, drop. Woo. Land the helicopter. Okay, sure. I got the perfect spot to land this bad boy. Oh, I was going to land it on the roof, but we actually have to land here. Kill us, key. All right, calm down, Michael. Good God. I've got it under control. Hey, Frank. He's cracking, man. 
So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Well, that went smoothly. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him huh? the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> Franklin's like, God damn, these people are insane. So we actually just did a job under false pretenses. I mean, not that I care, of course, but nerve gas, seriously, terrorism. I had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Oh. You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my <laughs> life. You have a beautiful way with words. For, for, some, for some reason, <laughs> everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. Street, you! I know. I know. Drive Patricia to the farm. <laughs> Trevor actually loves this old woman. That is so weird and sweet at the same time. What the hell? <laughs> That's crazy. Trevor, my man, you are just all types of insane. I, I don't even know how to honestly cope with this. Trevor, the meth head that killed the guy because he protested Trevor having sex with his girlfriend and then he crushes his head in with his boot. That guy is in love with an old woman. <laughs> I, listen, honestly, Trevor, why not just go kill Martine? If the only thing that, well, is holding her up from being with Trevor, words I thought I would never say, is her, uh, I don't know, her vow to him, then just go kill the guy, right? I mean, we did just pay Martine off with that uh, little statue, but still, I mean, come on. Patricia, you would be very happy with Trevor. He would treat you nicely. I mean, sure, there would be nightly beatings and you'd probably have to hose him off after he comes home from binging. Shit himself at all. But I mean, it would be a great life. You two together would be very happy in that little shitty trailer with roaches and all the smells. I, you're doing the right thing. She's pretending to like him, but low key, she wants to get the hell out of here. <laughs> all right, well then. My boy Trevor is in love. What a crazy night. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Trevor. The first person that makes him mad, oh, he is going to destroy them. <laughs> there you go, Patricia. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise, the other ear! Of course! Wait, what the happened way to I his see ear? Things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends. Such <laughs> good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect! Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will.
Okay then. Mission passed, monkey business. Listen, Trevor, there's no need to be upset. You might not be able to be with that 65 year old woman you kidnapped, but just go back to Meth Valley, your home, and I'm sure there's a lot of lovely ladies that would enjoy being with you, right? A woman that values the same things you do, like not having proper hygiene, doing drugs, and maybe you can get lucky and find a woman that has no teeth. The perfect uh, toothless meth mouth, as you said from before. <laughs> All right, so uh, this episode was crazy, and uh, I'm going to leave it off there. Trevor in love. Never saw that one coming, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.